Being in firefighting and EMT, it takes a lot on your mental health and you're carrying a lot of things. If you carry those things for a long time or a short time, your backpack is just gonna fill up and you're gonna crash. My name is Ragnheiður Guðjónsdóttir. Uh, nickname is Ragga. I started firefighting 2018. So here in Reykjavik, like capital area, we have both firefighting and the ambulance service together. I would say 85% of the job is doing EMT. The calls that we are getting here in the firefighting or the EMT is all of a kind. Fires in the forest, we are getting uh, car crashes, we are getting mountain rescue, we are getting water leaks inside of houses, we are getting uh, cleaning up some oil after car crashes and also cleaning up oil in the harbor or if a ship caught on fire, we have to go somewhere with helicopter to the sea and um, take out the fire in this ship or a boat, whatever. It's a big range of what kind of calls we get over here. It's everything. What are the challenges you face as a female <laughs> in such a like male-dominated industry? Mm, probably just the strength, like being a female, like the male is naturally just a stronger person. It is, but so keeping up, that's probably something we have to face. But, but I have a lot of qualities that they don't have. They are not small, they cannot crawl in, they are not flexible. I have twice went to a fire that uh, the only way to reach to the house was in the back and had to crawl through a small window and I was the smallest person. So the guys just throw me in, I had to crawl in and open up for them. So being different makes a good group. When I'm not working, I often try to reach just middle of nowhere, middle of nature, just having peace and quiet. Um, I do that because I know that it calms me down and it gets me the inner peace. Being in firefighting and EMT, it, it takes a lot on your mental health and you're carrying a lot of things. And it's a, it's a crucial thing to have your mental health good and, do, as, and don't carry those things. Because if you carry those things for a long time or a short time, your backpack is just gonna fill up and you're gonna crash. And that is a common thing that firefighters or EMT are crashing or quit the job or getting depressed is because of they are not getting or seeking the help they need. There's nothing in the world that is more important than me for myself. If I am not stable, I cannot be stable for anyone else. So not for my son, not for my family, not for the job. So I have to be a stable person to do everything I want to do, to be there for someone else. If not, you're going to crash. Some, and not today, but somewhere on the path, you're going to crash. I have done this job, firefighting and EMT, for almost more than four years now. I've never had that day. I just, I go to work and every day is something that I cannot predict. Always something new, always something challenging, and it's a thrill.